Good morning, guys, from the bus with our breakfast meal. With our, it's a must have breakfast when you are riding a bus or something. Back with Jonathan in the vlog after all the partially solo, well, solo plus Jelena adventures. We are already riding to Manila. First, I need to peel my pugo egg. Carefully separated section for salt, and then just pugo egg you peel for yourself. One of the unique bus snacks, but it's my personal favorite. Welcome back to Manila, guys! Wow! We're here again where we always start in Manila. Pasai. In the bus terminal. You know, but I didn't think it can get any more hot than it is at home in Cabanatuan City. <laughs> and then we arrived to Metro Manila. It's almost the same. Actually, we are going to an event tomorrow. We were invited to a very, very, very special event. We might be receiving an award. Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? That's for tomorrow. Today we just came already so we can sleep in Manila and be early tomorrow. And we are going to be exploring a little bit areas of the metro that we've never really explored before. So very excited for that, even though I just came home from Baguio and the weather there did me dirty and I have I'm starting to have like a really really bad sore throat so fingers crossed that I'm not going to get more sick until tomorrow. I'm ordering a taxi. Yes, Jonathan is grubbing our grub. <laughs> Welcome guys to which ma mall is this? Ayala Mall Manila Bay. That one, Ayala Mall is Manila Bay. My first time here, both of our first times here, but we don't really go much to Ayala, so very interesting how the whole mall is set up. Seems it has like sections. We saw Filipino town, K town, and now we are in Japan town. There's a Daiso. We are trying to find a place to eat and a Watson's to get me some cough or sore throat medicine at the same time I'm very impressed by this mall and want to look at everything I was the one excited to come to die so it's Jonathan who found a, <laughs> a summer hot for pixel as I see there's uh, ones for dogs but I found one for a cat Perfect for pizza. Yeah, that's her size. I'm glad we are finding very useful things here. <laughs> we found amazing smelling food. Since it's different than what we are used to at home, I feel everything is so social. This is the pizza that Jonathan's been telling me about for years, right? Yes. <laughs> I've been imagining it for years, but never found it anywhere. And now it's, this is it. Not local food this time, but this is exactly my comfort food craving when getting sick. Oh, there's even nice little herbs to put. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh! Good, right? <laughs> I told you. I'm so happy. This is the thing about the Philippines, like no matter if you choose local food or fast food or any food, just so much good restaurants and options. pretty here guys this mall area looks like well first of all Jonathan just said it looks like BGC which it really does but then also really like looks like an apartment building but it's like stores like restaurants and different shops it's so pretty we decided to walk to the hotel just to see a bit more from the area also we decided to walk to enjoy the beautiful summer heat yes and you got your navigator back. yes this is how it is guys if you watch my vlogs in Baguio where I was without Jonathan this is what I was trying to explain that now usually I can just focus on vlogging and then Jonathan will 
like deal with the taxi, the navigation, ordering food. So much easier than when I have to do everything alone. <laughs> good we have some protection. Yeah, it's a good sun protection. Oh, windy. <laughs> we are still having trouble with the umbrellas. This is the Manila Bay area. There's so many constructions. I guess they are building hotels because this is a place where they have all the big hotels. But Okada in front of me. Look, here's the bay. Okay, I'm satisfied. <laughs> so this is Kingsford Hotel here in Paranyake. Last two trips we had, one was me previously with Jelena in Baguio and our hotel was a little bit old and we had some issues with the bathroom. Uh, and before that we were on a very adventurous nomad backpacking trip in Bikoe, so <laughs> that's why we are joking now since now we are staying in a super nice hotel. Actually, it's a four-star hotel here in Paranyaka. It's right next to Okada. I claim myself now as a good deal expert because I got a great deal on this on Agoda. Ooh, we have a nice view also from here. Okay, guys, room tour now. I started one, but we found the ropes and now I want to do like social bathrobe um, outfit. <laughs> hotel, hotel room tour. <laughs> this is the bathroom, guys. So, <laughs> the, our main priority after our more adventurous trips, which we also love, but it's just funny to compare. The toilet flushes, excellent. And then there's also a nice shower area. We got shampoo, conditioner, body wash, everything. There's also hair dryer, a mirror, there's a nice mirror for getting ready and, and then we have a safe and hangers, everything very comfy. We have two single beds, they didn't have a room with a double bed but also works perfect, it looks so pretty. I like the decorations and the gold pillow, <laughs> a whole like water heater, coffee set, the seating area, oh very nice. Very comfy and then we have a nice view of the city. There's even a swimming pool here and we have a view of it. It's, we are on floor 16 so there's only one more floor so we are almost at the highest point of the hotel I think. And there's Okada. Side of Okada peaking there and then there's the swimming pool also. You know guys how we travel like I think we are the kind of travelers who like like all kinds of travels. We like to stay in campsites, we like to stay in uh, adventurous places when that's what's fitting our trip, but then sometimes it's nice to stay in like comfy, cozy hotels like this also. Yes, sometimes it's good when there's a bed. <laughs> <laughs> and a bathroom. <laughs> Life as campers <laughs> or like well, we are sometimes comfort, sometimes just what we call it is like nomad adventure travelers. But this is so nice. This is my drink that I am drinking, a Formula 44. I was joking about it in a short video, how Vix is like the savior for every sickness, but actually not sponsored, but this is savior for sore throat and coeds and everything. Good morning guys! Good morning. Good morning! I mean, this is the middle of a video, so you just saw us entering this hotel and now we are exiting this hotel because I decided to combine our first day and last day here in this one vlog and then the main event, the special event why we came here in the first place is going to have its own separate video, which was yesterday. I'm going to edit it and upload it as soon as possible. Today we are going home later, but first we are headed to BGC, to what mall? Uptown Mall. Uptown Mall, because that's where our friends Calvin's studio is. 
we were invited to his podcast. By the way, this was the lobby of the hotel. Since you guys didn't see it yet, there's also really, really good breakfast here, which you will see in the next vlog. It's really nice staying here. Okada is just here, right next to us. Ooh, fancy. Mush it to the window. Thank you. <laughs> Our original plan was to check out Okada in the vlog also. Last year it was so popular to go there and vlog that area and we haven't been ever since, but prioritizing promises we made to friends. <laughs> guys to BGC. Our first time in Uptown Mall. Actually, a lot of people were telling us to check this mall out also. This is the kind of places we always shop at. Prada, Lancôme. Desperada. Desperada. This vlog, guys, is a mall tour around the metro. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, this is what a mall in BGC looks like. It's so pretty. I'm sure everyone knows, but malls are like a big thing in the Philippines since it's so hot outside that it's nice to have all the shops in a nice, cozy, air conditioned environment. But um, we are so used to the type of malls we have back at home, like our usual SM and Robinsons. It's so cool to see other types of malls that we don't have in our area, like the Ayala the other day, and this one's so pretty. Most Philippines is like the mall capital or something. <laughs> we found something cool. No, be a DJ. Or some Hungarian tunes. There's a ball in the mall that plays music when you touch it. Okay. Kids done playing. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Hi, brother. Nice to see you again, brother. How are you, man? You good? Nice to see you, man. Sorry, sorry. I'm it's late. okay. Sorry. Filipino time. You know. You're good at it. <laughs> so this is what an office building in BGC looks like. First time in a BGC yeah. office building. Yeah, welcome to Unila Connection. Here's Kevin, by the way. Again, there. Then I have a podcast. Yes, full of cameras, microphones. Hi. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, Susie. Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> Looks very intimidating mm -hmm. with all these cameras and speakers and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, is where, this is where we usually do the podcast here inside. Ah. But the thing is, yeah. they will come to fix the aircon today, so we were scared it's too hot to be inside. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why we we adjusted to, to do it there. This is where we do everything. Editing. Nice. Yeah, this is it. You guys are pros. Because this is a never seen before, or maybe seen before, <laughs> behind the scenes of Calvin Castell. Me editing at home and sitting on our bed. Yeah. It's a cool bed, it's a really nice bed. <laughs> but wow, they, they got a whole studio, podcast area, editing area. Wow. Okay, I won't touch you. <laughs> podcast behind the scenes. Yeah, this is the podcast behind the scenes, guys. I didn't introduce you guys in the vlog yet. There. Not just Calvin, here's the whole team. Luis. That is the whole team. Yeah. Hey. So this is my my younger brother from another <laughs> mother. And this is my brother, my big brother, Tenes. The one that came up with all the project here. Nice. Tenes here. 
So, and this... Our wizard, Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Some control panel situation. Some. Cool. Huh? It's my cool time. Are you excited? Are you, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not normal. Yeah. yeah. Just normally excited. Yeah. podcast is done guys didn't put parts in the vlog because don't want to spoil it you need to go to calvin's channel Please if you guys. want to listen to it but it was my first postcard postcard podcast but it was so much fun it <laughs> did you enjoy it? yeah it was fun yeah. I, hope, I hope i mean i hope you guys are gonna like it so i think if you guys want to know much about jonathan and susie definitely you guys have to to watch the podcast because yeah, yeah. it was nice i mean nice conversation yeah. positive vibe only thank you so much for making time for thank us thank you for having us yeah. how, how was it as a viewer <laughs> but i enjoyed watching it. nice <laughs> then you guys will enjoy watching it too i show you the view from their studio also because now that we are done the view was revealed <laughs> <laughs> so many nice tall buildings BGC never fails to amaze me. We got before some comments that, like, when we were with funny in BGC, some people were like, oh, why are you so impressed? I'm sure you have buildings like this in your home country. Nope. No, it's not allowed. <laughs> not allowed to build tall buildings in Hungary, actually, fun fact, in Budapest. In Hungary, in Budapest, the view is very, very flat. <laughs> and I've never been to the US or other uh, more urban um, Asian countries, so to me, like, BGC, I'm always, I'm always a bit amazed looking at all these huge buildings. Brother, thank you. Nice. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Thank, thank you. So thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. See you, bro. See you. Have a nice trip home, huh? See you guys Take on maybe 31st. See bye you. Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.